So yeah, I just thought I'd quickly run through my thought process um, setting up this rig. It's only the sort of second rig I've ever done. Um, and I ended up having to try and mix sort of hard surface and organic. <laughs> so obviously that didn't go so well. I was trying to learn at the same time. Um, this is what I came up with. Um, if you look at my thought, so my thought process is I've got an IK rig for the neck um, and the reason it's shaped like that is if you actually look at the reference diagram of the horse um, like yeah it's tempting I think to put the spine straight through um, it doesn't it actually does curve like that and I noticed if I just went straight when I was moving the rig the the movement of the head and the neck it wasn't how I would expect um, to see it whereas if I set it up in this fashion actually it did end up moving um, how I liked um, so that was interesting and then the other issue I had was I was trying to get some sort of armor type stuff on it I went through four days of trying stuff out um, and there's a good reason why it's like this <laughs> with chainmail in between there's a good reason why horses haven't got hard surface on them you know if, if it were going to evolve like that they would have done that by now um, so yeah as it came down there's no getting away from the fact I needed a skin like meta, meta, meta material um, yeah, and minimal um, hardware on there to actually get any clearance um, but I'm glad I persevered because otherwise I could have certainly made something pretty very quickly um, but I wouldn't have been able to pose it and everything would have just bashed into it each other um, I then had issues because obviously I want the hard surface to follow the skin the skin to uh, I've went through so many variations pipes and god knows what um, so the IK rig is a standard IK rig um, and follows the bone here this one bone here um, just controls everything as you can see which is quite cool even all the hard surface stuff um, and you can yeah you can rotate it as well and if you want to give them a little dog light uh, tilt you can and works it's kind of cool um, yeah and so I apologize I haven't learned all the shortcuts for the bone stuff yet I'm still working on that so I have to keep uh, going in just to clear everything um, yeah so it's, and so what I did was I had the IK rig and then when I started parenting stuff to the IK rig then I just got into a world of pain with things bashing into each other and not sort of moving how I wanted um, so what I ended up doing was having a separate um, armature with three B bones in it um, and then what I've got is one simple mesh parented to the middle B bone that's segmented um, and I'm using a stretch to constraint to go to um, the plate at the top here um, and then I was going to empty at the bottom holding the other one um, and that actually ended up working quite well a world of pain trying to keep it stick so the stretch to stretches to the plate but then you'll find that the pipe doesn't actually match up um, because it stretches to it but doesn't follow the rotation um, yeah and then you end up with all sorts of trouble with the rotation however if you stick it on the middle B bone and the end use the NB bone moves with it because the middle ones uh, moved along and so what I've done with the constraints for that is I've actually used damp track on that because track two was giving me all sorts of problems with the B bone spinning about when it went into world space and jumping about all over the place. Um, it works fine for, for these these objects here. I'll show you those in a sec. They're tra using t the track two, a damp track. So damp track worked. I thought I had it all working, but then I was using pure cylindrical form. As soon as I stuck it on something that wasn't cylindrical, then it was obvious that it wasn't copying the rotation. So then when I started copying the rotation. Uh, yeah, just like trying to find the right world space, local space, local space, repose space. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so it, it ended up being quite simple though, is because basically just have to make sure that the rotation um, of the empty is the same rotation as the plate that you're doing it to, and then rotate those. Um, yeah, yeah apply a rotation and scale on those so that in world space they're all set up the same, and then it works. But then the track two wasn't working. And what I realized was then was I was trying to track two to the plate, um, but there's no tangent. There's no, you can, yeah, it needs to work out sort of the 90 degree angle. Um, so for track two, I've got these little tracking markers here. So these are parented to the IK bone. Um, so they move with it, as you see. And then everything tracks to that, which is kind of cool. So that works. Anyway, so that's probably about three days it took me to get to that point of various different things. Um, the skin here uh, is just the tube and they've got like um, how to learn 
this side has got shape keys on it. Um, so, uh, yeah, so sub shaped keys. And actually, I haven't actually animated these because this final shape here, and um, where I put like the slight muscle, like the throat here, and the slight cresting here, um, actually works pretty well. Uh, if I take these down, where are we? So this is the uh, this is the original cylindrical form. So I kept it really just plain mesh because I wanted just to keep the um because I was going to use the wire modifier to do the pattern. And I wanted it nice and tidy. I like tidy anyway. Yeah. So anyway, so I've got these if I need them. So if I do end up in some positions, um, yeah, then if I never look, watch the, I'm really chuffed with these actually. If you watch the these bits here, okay, this took me ages to figure out as well. So the next thing I had to do was I wanted some hard surface on there. Um, and I was trying to track the B bone, trying to track the IK rig, and it just kept bashing into each other and just wasn't doing what I wanted. Um, so, as you can see here, it actually follows it. Um, so, what I ended up doing um, was actually the vertex uh, pairing. So, if you look into the mesh here, um, yeah, so what I've done is for each side, I've selected one each side um, and created, let's uh, just deselect everything. Uh, so if you look at like in B1 midpoint, okay, so it selects one either side and then I've parented um, the object to the, the vertex um, and then that moves. So if the shape key changes, it moves. Um, if the actual skin moves in real time, it moves. Um, again, it's simple. It took me freaking ages to get to that point. Um, and then the other thing I do on these is because the parenting I just find with this sort of stuff or have found mainly probably my lack of understanding um i just find it, it, it frustrates me because it's obviously there's depending on what's parented to what especially when it's okay for like world location but when it comes to location i find it confusing so what i've done here is use copy location um so it just gets the average point works really well just in world space because i want to be able to lift this up and move it around um and then what i've done is track two and this does work because it's a nice simple track um, and all I'm doing is I've put the track to to the helmet so essentially it hold it keeps it nice and then what, I've, what that lets me do oh, whatever what you do so what it lets me do is actually have slip separate check track points for these which means I can angle them so if I grab that one you can see there I've got I can actually angle those um, so it just gives me a bit of option um, yeah, and in the worst case scenario, yeah, if I've posed it, obviously, I mean, it clears for most range of motion. If I pose it, if I want to pose it, you find the easiest thing to do um, is grab everything in here, uh, yeah, and then move it around the origin like that. Because it's yeah, otherwise, you, um, yeah, you end up mucking about. Well, it's just easier to leave the origin where it is. <laughs> it just saves a, saves a lot of hassle. Yeah, so that's sort of um, how I ended up with that. I'd be interested in any. Feedback knowing me, I've probably massively um, overcomplicated it, um, but it all works. And then um, yeah, I've got the other layers, just the helmet, and then I'll, the eyes have got their own sets of arms. Yeah, they're completely over the top, um, but they, they've got their own sets of armatures. It all works as well. And yeah, and those. And I'm hating the gas mask look, so that's gone. Um, so there we go. So. I mean, I don't know if that's useful to anybody. Um, more interested in sort of, I guess, feedback as well, but yeah, a lot of people have helped with a lot of good courses. So, yeah, just thought I'd share that. Might be useful. And uh, let me know if it is. And if you've got a better way of doing it, let me know as well. Um, but I'm quite pleased with the result. It means I can pose it. I'm so glad I did it and didn't, like, just build it so it looked pretty because otherwise I'd have been hurting at the end trying to do it. So, yeah, off onto the rest of the body now.